Hello guys, this is Alex and today we will speak about um, the error message that you're getting when your C drive it is full. So actually when your C drives um, shows up as in this image with a little uh, free space, you'll get a, a, a message with no this space. So actually um, for today's topic we will speak about low uh, disk space on C drive and here I want to let you know that you can solve this issue without uh, buying or installing different um, cleaning um, softwares um, this process it is quite simple uh, what you need to do first it is to check your um, documents or the drive Usually in documents, downloads, if you have them set up as default folders on C drive, uh, I keep mine on my D drive. Um, but if you do, um, it is better to clean, for instance, the downloads uh, if you properly save them. Uh, if not, uh, in order to, if you have a lot of folders uh, or files that you need to search and identify exactly what files are bigger or smaller, uh, you can um, use this option here, uh, the search bar from the right side of your window and you just type size column and after that you have some suggestions like empty, tiny, medium, large files, uh, as you can see the large files are considered uh, what is over 120 megabytes and gets until 1 gigabyte, I don't consider that, but you know, it is Windows decisions. Uh, what you'll point for will be the huge files, especially if you have um, recordings or movies downloaded on your um, on your computer so actually I'll go for huge files in order to search them um, so after you select this um, a search process will start in, uh, in your computer and um, the files will be displayed um, as you can see here with the drive that are in and um, the path in order to find them um, so actually you, you have as well the gigantic option here which is over 4 gigabytes you can try with that as well but I don't know um, okay once you did that and you are sure absolutely sure that you don't have any other large files uh, what you can do uh, it is just to go directly to the uh, Windows um, uh, menu that will have it uh, on your left side in the corner and if you have the search bar great if you not you just start typing there and you enter the uh, percent uh, sign and you'll go to temp T -M -T -E -M -T, and after that again um, the percent sign so as you can see a temporary file folder will pop up you'll press enter and actually what you did right now you just uh, navigated directly to your um, temporary files so your user temporary files um, I want to let you know that this is a very um, um, popular issue um, on working environment for instance you, where you have a laptop for I don't know one two three maybe four years and you're just keep using it um, and what uh, I noticed that it is nobody it is cleaning the temporary files so actually these temporary files will take uh, I don't know I, I saw computers with 50 gigabytes or more content here so what you can do here once you navigate it to this temporary file you just select all the files like control A by pressing control A and without worries just to delete them all by pressing delete 
all the, the files will disappear. This is the first step. Uh, next one will be to go on your computer and the C drive, of, of course, we are referring to this drive. And by going on Windows temporary files, here, of course, this folder will be full, uh, usually after many years without cleaning it. Cleaning it. Um, so we will navigate to temporary folder okay so by doing this we open this folder uh, you can uh, check how how, uh, how big is this file by going to the properties well right now mine it is quite small I have just 120 megabyte um, but as well here I noticed like uh, large temporary folders with over 50 gigabytes uh, in size so actually what you need to do it is to enter to uh, access this temporary folder and of course without uh, um, hesitating uh, just select all files and press on delete uh, from time to time you'll, you'll be popped out um, for instance that you need the administrator permission to delete this folder you would press continue without any issue and um, also after the um, the permission for administrator um, some files are currently uh, used by the current current windows session so i usually after i noticed that all the files were deleted and they remain just a few here I'll press on skip in order to hold these files because they, these files are from current session so actually I can uh, do this for all the current files and press skip we will wait until the um, the files are deleted and in, in the last step that you need to do it is just to go to the recycle bin and empty the recycle bin okay because all what we deleted from the temporary fo folders uh, some of them went to recycle bin well this is it um, if you like this video don't don't forget to comment if this video worked for you uh, ask questions and of course subscribe to my channel wish you have a great day